Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to more Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we came up with a plan to seduce a guard with feminine wiles. Yes, that was fun. And we reunited with Rita. Now we're going to be heading down here to stop Hugh Moore and the new character, Jaeger, from uh, um, abusing these people down here in the labor camp. Now, I gotta say, um, I mentioned my favorite characters earlier. I said, character development-wise, I love Carol. Um, Battle-wise, I love Rita. But my absolute favorite character in this game is Jaeger. He's just... Uh, I, love, I love him so much in a non-homosexual way, of course. And that's right, we have a boss fight with Jaeger right off the bat. Now, you don't have to worry about the secret mission here because there is none. Actually, Jaeger is worth no experience whatsoever. But you still want to magic lens him. Watch out for him, by the way. He has a really cool weapon that'll probably tear through you. It is a scythe bow gun. And, yeah. <laughs> Jaeger, doesn't, Jaeger doesn't play any games. Oh, wow, he's actually kicking my butt right now. Kinda get my butt handed to me. Oh, I'm about to die. Okay, um. Oh, what are. Ooh, repeater sword and light spear. Nice. Got the fatal strike. Ow. Yeah, I'd recommend getting rid of these guys first. I mean, Nigger's gonna. <laughs> He's a problem. I'm just gonna say that much. Where's the. There's the last one. Now we need to. To cover repeat because he's just uh ow yeah if it wasn't obvious enough jaeger has a lot of range oh i missed it jaeger hit me just before i could do it actually wait wait a minute let's shift over to repeat really quick oh he still didn't do the howl that's all right wow okay jaeger's just kind of kicking my butt right here Wow, he's not he's not taking it. Baker is really powerful, but we almost got him. Oh, well, there's the counter. Oh, Rita with the finishing kill. Or hit. How could the Empire cover for such evil? We can't just let it go. Yeah, Jaeger's really a mini boss. if anything else. I mean, he's literally worth no experience whatsoever. But hey, we made it through, so, you know. I must admit, you're very strong. Sir Kimor, it's the Fun Brigade! Flynn! Well, send him away! We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter allows he simply has no tact. 
Let's get the heck up out of here. That man called Jaeger certainly had a unique way of talking. Unique isn't the word I'd use. I had a hard time understanding some of the stuff he said. An ancient way of speaking lost in this day and age. What? Are you serious? It would at least make a good story if that were true. <laughs> no, I just think he's German. I mean, let's rest up. We kind of... <laughs> got our asses handed to us a little bit in that battle, so, um, yeah. And I'm gonna be switching the party up a little bit. I put Repeat in the fight because, you know, I hardly use Repeat in boss fights because he doesn't give dialogue. So I feel like that kind of just takes away, but there are some boss fights where he's a very viable to use. I think this battle is actually good for Judith because uh, she still needs to learn experience share before she can get the Halberd. I mean, I really don't need it, but it's just gonna bother me being there without being learned. You know, just having something there incomplete. Oh, go! Oh, come on, really? Let's keep going, hopefully uninterrupted this time. Now we can finally go this way, and what Flynn thinks? Flynn was asking for Estelle to come back with him, right? The Knights can't help thinking that the best place for a princess is a castle. He's just worried that he won't be able to keep track of her. But Estelle decided to set out on this journey on her own. And you want to respect that. I haven't really thought about it all that much. The Knights are bound to keep following you, though, as long as Estelle's with you. And what kind of a guild would we be if we didn't get into trouble with the Knights? I don't think fighting with the Knights is actually a guild requirement. <laughs> well, it is now, so, you know, I guess we should be getting used to it. There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Where are we, anyway? A forest in central Topekia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here. We should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliod. What? But what about Q-Mor? Did we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware Brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. I I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Uh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh? Brave Vesperia? Start explaining! Just about to ask the same questions myself. Huh? What the? What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven the Great. Where do you come from? Who the hell do you? I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a 
jam little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? First things first, let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor's a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. Okay, let's go. And Raven joins the party yet again. After appearing out of nowhere, as per usual. I'm so hungry! I'm dying here. Already? The girls look like they're doing fine. Oh. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too! I can wait. Though it's been a little difficult. Hmm? That's all like it came from Rita. Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Who's any more weight, you know? I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? And that's the first set of three skits about hunger. And as you can see, I find them all to be pretty hilarious. With reason, of course. They only get better from here on out. But after seeing all those, those three skits, uh, we'll be going back to eating again. And it'll help me save up on money for items. Um, how much did Judith? She's like almost there. I'm gonna hold out a little bit so we can, uh, you know what, I haven't even do, been doing skills recently either. Um, Raven doesn't have magic guard, I don't know why. Um, critical guard, don't really need that. Uh, he's good for now. I don't know why this just came up to me now. Um, don't know why Carol doesn't have that or, um, hmm. There is a lot of stuff Carol needs, he needs charge hold on him. What about Rita? Rita needs item thrower. Okay. Um. She doesn't need that or that. I'm just now noticing all this. I am. <laughs> Judith needs magic guard. What does Estelle need? She looks good for now, so I'll just. Yeah, do that. What about Yuri? What is there for Yuri? Um, he's actually looking pretty good right now. So I'll just hold off on skill points for him, and I'll just do these few battles to get Judith enough experience for enough LP. Oh. Here I am thinking I have arts I don't have. Shouldn't be too long till we learn another art, actually. Plus, I mean, like I said, this part of the game isn't really battle heavy. It's a little slow for me, but not as slow as when you enter Heliard for the first time. Oh. There we go, now she learned, and she's still poisoned, okay. Um, let's just do that. Have Estelle use Recover. And we're good to go. Oh, you want to move, sir? Thank you. I know, I, haven't, I know we haven't been gone for long, but I have to say, it feels good to be back. Should I get you some pansies? Should I get you pansies, some tissues? Or can we go to the end now? I'm so hungry. All right, all right. Yeah. I can't take it anymore. I'm seriously going to starve. Can I eat it, you know? No. Uh, does the pooch look a little scary to anyone else? Oh, uh, he's probably just hungry enough for his wild instincts to kick in. The pooch isn't the only one about to go wild. I'm no good at diets, seriously. This isn't a diet, it's a fast. Why do we have to stop eating too? We can't have delicious smells just wafting by. We're just as hungry as you are. Ah, what a tyrant. I'm surprised we got that second skit so soon. <laughs> um, only stored. <clears throat> oh, yes, Carolinian stored. Wow, this is the this is why I recommend you do not sell the Carolinian hammer because you can't make a Carolinian sword. This is great. 
Um, because, oh, he's still, work, he's still working on the spike hammer. But, okay, when we finish with this, he'll get speed charge. And basically, Carol will be good to go with the mighty charts uh, skill set. We have something we can sell. Eh, we can sell all this old armor. We don't really need it. Oh yeah, I remember mentioning um, a little while back that I was reading the Tales of Vesperia manga, and there are a few chapters that came out last month, or a few months ago, I should say, and they just got to uh, Karabakram before um, the fight with the dreaded giant. And... Oh, I can make a cat hairband for Rita, that's interesting defense. Uh, pointed hat for Peed. Let's see what else can we make. We can make a battle guard for Raven, but eh. Um, witch dress for Rita. Holy cloak for Rita. Let's do that, actually. Long coat for Judith. Oh, what could Carol get? Oh, the battle suit. All right. Now, what else can we make? Uh, things we already have. Magic mist. I'm not going to spend money on that. Ooh, thief tattoo. I could make that and give it to repeat if I needed to. That will increase thievery rate. Um, I'm, I'm going to hang on to that for later. Special flag. Eh. I said I would make one later. I think I'll buy one of these first uh, custom or appearance changing items, the Mystic Gem, that's for Rita. Um, do I have anything else? Mm, it's all this old stuff, don't need it. And I can synthesize one more thing. I think I'll just make the special flag just to have it anyway. Even though we get it later, that's not for a while. So, let's. Yeah. Carol the battle suit, and we're good to go. My items are a little weak right now, I know, but there's not too much I can really do about that. You know what? I think I'm going to wrap it up for this episode, and next time on Tales of Vesperia, we're going to be seeing what Raven's doing with us here, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.